What is up guys, I'm here for my WWE Hell in the Cell 2013 pay-per-view predictions. Uh, the pay-per-view is going to be live Sunday night from Miami, Florida. Yeah, it's from Miami, yeah. Uh, so you got six matches on the main show and then the pre-show match. Uh, overall, it looks to be an alright pay-per-view. I think it will turn out pretty good. So let's just get into the matches. Uh, first off, you have the kickoff match. Curtis Saxel versus B.E. Langston for the Intercontinental title. Now, I like that B.E. Langston's getting a push. I wanted him to get a push when he was with Ziggler and AJ, but... It, they totally destroyed that, and it could have been a lot better than it was, but that's a whole other video. Um, as much as I want to see Big E win here, I think it's, he's only been faced for like two weeks, so you got to have Axel win, and then Big E gets it Survivor Series maybe, I don't know, or maybe just on a Raw or SmackDown. But my pick's going to be Curtis Axel. I hope I wouldn't I wouldn't mind at all, honestly, if Big E likes the one, but my pick's going to be Curtis Axel. Uh, moving on to the main show, Divas title match, AJ Lee versus Brie Bella. As much as I want to, see, I don't want to see AJ lose the title because, in my opinion, she is the best diva along with Caitlyn and you know some girls or some divas down in NXT. But um, I'm unfortunately gonna have to pick Brie Bella here because there is plans of her and Daniel Bryan walking out of Hell in a Cell, both champions. And I just wouldn't see the point of uh, AJ winning again against Brie Bella. I mean, uh, Brie Bella won on Raw, I believe AJ beat Nikki on SmackDown, so I guess momentum's kind of even going in. Uh, I hope AJ wins, but I think Brie Bell is going to win. I'm not sure. Well, I wouldn't say not sure. I'm just going to pick Brie Bella. I don't want to. I want AJ to win. But I'm going to pick Brie Bella for the victory. Uh, next, you have Los Matadors. Uh, if, if it's uh, free of their names. Versus the Real Americans, Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger. Um, fortunately, I had to pick Los Matadors. I don't really like these guys. I'm not a fan of them. It's just Epico and Primo and a little little horn squaggle guy even though it's not hitting to me but um i want the real americans to win but los matadors definitely walking out to victory there's no way they're gonna lose their first pay-per-view match um so lost Mat los matadors to beat the real americans uh you got the wwe tag team championship match the triple threat tag team match i'm really liking this kind of like an old school wrestlemania match feel to it you know you've had like 14 matches in the past and manias but now you're getting a three-team match first one in a while if I remember, I don't know. But uh, you got the WWE Tag Team Champions, Cody Rhodes and Goldust, the Rhodes family. You got the Shield, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns, and the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso. Um, I'm going to pick Cody Rhodes and Goldust to uh, come out the win winners here. Uh, I do. I heard there was plans for them to hold the titles probably till maybe December, January time. It sucks for the Usos because, you know, they were number one contenders. You know, and then Rhodes and Goldust got the belts, and now they're just kind of getting thrown in this so people don't forget about them, I guess. I don't know, but they're probably not going to get the tag titles for a while, cause, so it kind of sucks for them. But uh, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, I don't think you're going to get the titles back yet. I think you know they had it from April to October, so they're going to, obviously, if they're ever going to get the titles again, they're going to hold off on it for a little while. But I do see Cody Rhodes and Goldust coming out the victory, with the victory. And uh, I would like to see Dolph Ziggler and Dean Ambrose get added on the show. It sucks. They both deserve to be on the show. You know, Dean Ambrose, I mean, his face is going to show up during the show, obviously, with uh, the Shield. Maybe even during the the WWE Hell in a Cell match, WWE Title Hell in a Cell match, but um, Dolph Ziggler definitely deserves to be on the show. Look for a video. I'm just gonna say this. Look for a video in the future about Dolph Ziggler, AJ, Big E, that whole little stable there. Just giving you a heads up why he's not on the show is just ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with Cody Rhodes and Goldust for the victory here. Next, you got CM Punk versus Ryback and Paul Heyman in a handicap Hell in a Cell match. Um, I see. I th I th I'm going to say, yeah, they got to end this feud. I mean, it's been going on since the summertime. You know, Brock beat Punk, and then Paul Heyman beat Punk, pretty much, at the United Champions. And then Punk got the cheap victory of Ryback at Battleground. So, the only way to really end this feud is for Punk to defeat Ryback and Paul Heyman. What you do with Ryback or Paul Heyman after that, I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and say Punk wins. Maybe, uh, I know it's just one fall, it's just a handicap match. But with Punk, maybe it's just can do something then maybe get Ryback back out of the cell and unlock him out or something or really just beat him down to the point he can't get up and then he'll have Paul Heyman to himself get the victory of Paul Heyman I think that's what we'll see here CM Punk I think will walk out the victory the World Heavyweight Championship match Alberto Del Rio versus the returning John Cena there right there for you should have put my purple Cena shirt on for this but it's all good uh I think John Cena will become World Heavyweight Champion uh I'm gonna say I'm not a fan of Alberto Del Rio. You, if anybody's noticed, I forgot to make... I didn't make predictions for Battleground, but... Uh, or was it... No, I did for Battleground. I didn't for Night of Champions. But every pay-per-view 
match that Del Rio's had since winning that world title. I've wanted him to lose. I wanted him to lose against Ziggler. He doesn't. Wanted him to lose against Christian. He didn't. Wanted him to lose against RVD both times, and he didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and hope that Cena becomes victory here. Uh, is the victor here? Um, I do. I do think people have to start thinking about Damien Sandow a lot more now because it makes sense why they would have him cash in though, because you know, Cena could win. Del Rio gets pissed, attacks Cena, and then Damien Sandow cash in. Cena could take more time off. He needs it. I don't know, but um. I don't know, I'm going to say Cena wins, and there's a 70, maybe 80% chance they mean Sandow cashes in. Just leave it at that. And now we have the main event, Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan, with Shawn Michaels as a special guest referee for the WWE Championship inside Hell in a Cell. Uh, it's definitely going to be a great match, really going to enjoy it. I'm sure some kind of screw job finish maybe is going to happen, I don't know. Michaels super kicks Orton, Big Show gets in there, Shield gets in there, Triple H gets in there, I don't know. Um, but there has been rumors of Daniel Bryan walking out champion, and, uh, I don't know, it's just weird. I don't see, really, I don't really see him winning the title. Uh, I think when he wins the title, it's gonna be like, he finally won the title, you know, he, uh, wins the title again for the third time, which is ridiculous, you know, but my, it's pretty much gonna be the first time, let's be honest. Um, when he does win it back, but I could see Orton winning here, them going into, well, <clears throat> like a Team Bryan, and... Big Show versus Orton and Triple H, like Survivor Series tag at uh, Survivor Series, and then maybe a TLC. Daniel Bryan finally beats Orton. I mean, that's gonna be a long feud if they drag it drag this out to December. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say Daniel Bryan will win, become new WWE champion. Um, I don't really see. I don't know. I I think Big Show might get in there. Maybe knock them both out. Let's see what happens with that. Triple H might get in there. Shield. I don't know. Maybe they'll pull up the cage or something. Do something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's just keep it at that. Uh, I'm just going to say Daniel Bryan wins, though, so I have a pick. There's my Hell in Cell predictions, guys, and I'll see you guys. I don't know if I'll make a review of this. If I do, it's going to be Monday. I'll definitely see you guys on Tuesday or Wednesday for my WWE 2K14 video game review or thoughts, whatever. I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that. So I'll see you guys next few days for some videos. So, yeah. See you guys later.